Yo, what is going on, folks? I am your dude, Very High. This is a special stream we got going today. We are going to be exploring the Drag Meets mod and how to make our own custom race cars to race against and with using the race, the Drag Meets monster update. You can find it on GTA5Mods.com. It's also down in the description of the stream. Go ahead, tell your friends, hey, dude, Very High has got a stream going. Maybe we should hop up in there. I just want to say thanks to everyone who has subscribed. And if you're not watching this live now, you're catching it back later. Drop some questions down in the comments. Let me know if I missed something. Let me know if there's something you you guys want to see. All right, we got Blockanaka already making his presence known in the chat. That's what's up. Welcome to the stream, Blockanaka. We also got our boy Denture Adventure. We're gonna have to give you that status. There you go, sir. Denture, you have full reign to moderate the chat. Welcome one, welcome all. Uh, been wanting to learn how y'all do this. Would be killer to see this in VR, like an actual car meet. Heck yeah, dude. So I originally, I actually have the video footage creating a custom drag race using the drag meets mod. I haven't edited it down at all, but I mean, I guess I could literally just stream the raw video of me recording that entire tutorial. I made this tutorial a couple videos back, but I never put it out. But um, a couple folks have been asking, hey, actually today someone asked, <clears throat> how can we get custom cars with the drag meets mod? And someone else did ask about some other uh, drag meet content. And uh, we're going to be saying drag meet and drag meets a lot in this video. So uh, if your parents are watching this with you, don't get it twisted. We are talking about race drag meets cars going fast in a straight line. That's all we're talking about. So I guess before we get into the nitty gritty, uh, you folks are probably going to want to know how exactly it is that we're going to uh, race. Um, we should probably learn how to install it real quick. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do that. Let's park the whip. By the way, let's get a nice look at the car. What do you guys think of that paint job? It's not looking too bad, huh? It's not looking too bad, huh? This is the new Cypher came out in the latest update. I guess it's like the new car that's out this week or something like that. And sorry if it looks like there's some frame drop or it looks like the video isn't as smooth. It's because it's not. It looks like that on my computer, too. And uh, it's probably because I got OBS running at 1080p and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So whatever. I'm going to hop out the whip. I'm also going to hop out of GTA 5 real quick. going to alt tab to my desktop and I'm going to navigate my way <clears throat> over to uh, gta5mods.com. I got it right here in the browser. Sheboygan. All right, this is the Drag Meets Monsters Update 2.2 by EDD LM because that is not, it's not an I, guys. That's an Edelm. Edelm and McKeeze 30 have combined their forces. They've updated the <clears throat> Drag Meets mod. And it's really simple, guys. We're not going to get into all the details too much except for one thing. There's one thing you need to know um, is uh, these text commands here. So uh, we're going to be using a text command to save our cars. We'll get into that. Let's just download this real quick. I do already have it downloaded to my machine, so I'm not going to save it to my machine. I'm just going to open it real quick. And uh, we're going to give that a gander. So here we go. We have the files that we need. Uh, we literally just drag this whole entire folder over to our scripts directory. So in my um, file explorer here, let's say I just go to my C drive, boop, boop. And then I'm going to locate that program files right there. Going to go to my Epic Games because that's what I play on. If you play on Rockstar Games Launcher, you probably got to go here. And if you play on Steam, you're going to want to open up Steam, click on your, go to your library, right click on GTA 5 and then in the properties, locate the installation folder. That's how you find it for Steam. So I'm on Epic Games. I'm going to click here on Epic Games and then GTA 5. Here is where I got to go to my scripts folder, actually. Yeah, we're going to go to that scripts directory. If you ain't got one, you need to check out my GTA 5 modding essentials video. You can find it 
uh, right here. A quick commercial break. If you don't know how to mod and you're new to modding and you want to know how to mod, just hop on over to GTA5.com or click on my channel icon. And you can literally uh, just type in GTA5 Modding Essentials. And uh, boom, there's our video right there. So if you don't know how to mod, guys, go ahead. I'm just going to copy Hello, this. What's up, you guys? And welcome back to another video for GTA, GTA 5. 5. I'm your host, Very, very High. And I'm, I'm going to get you up to speed. To okay, enough with the hand slapping and clapping. Check out the video. I'm going to post it in the chat. Boom. There it is. If you guys don't know how to mod, go ahead. Check this video out. It's going to get you started in your GTA 5, the foundation of your GTA 5 modification. Okay, back to the mod. So now that we've downloaded, oops, the drag meets, okay? We're in our scripts folder here. Uh, we're gonna locate our scripts folder inside of our GTA 5 main directory right here. Just give it a click clack. And this is where you're gonna drag your meets. Your drag meets files and folders are gonna go here. We have our two folders and down below uh, is our drag meets DLL. So once we have that installed, this is where we go to edit the drag meets information. You click on the drag meets folder and then you click on racers. So just like in my other GTA five, uh, like LS life videos where I show you how to customize a dealer or my other LS life video where I showed you how to customize your stash house. So with those mods, we had to edit the XML file. So that's what these files are here inside of the drag meets racers folders. So uh, player original, if we click on that, um, I think that's just like a default template. And then, uh, yeah, so this is where it's like recording information. Racers original. This is going to be the original list of racers by default that the modders made for this mod. And then racers. Now, this is our modified race list. So this is um, basically the file that we're going to edit and change today. And I have another file down here called Racers Vary. This is my own racers list that I made using the latest uh, DLC cars. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how it is that we do that. Okay, so first off, we're going to start by <clears throat> taking a look at the racers.xml. Uh, now, if you don't have it set to this way on an XML file, just right click and then go to open with. And choose notepad and if notepad isn't there go to choose another app and then locate notepad and the way that you're going to do that is if it doesn't show up on this list and you go to more apps and you still can't find it look for another app on this pc okay you're going to want to get to your local disk program files and i think you can just look up no i, I don't know um actually uh yeah let's just I don't know. Go to your C drive and type in notepad. See what happens. See what happens. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Notepad uh, would show up. And dude, I don't know if I'm doing this right or wrong. You find out for me. I'm not clicking that because mine works. So <laughs> you said your own discretion. But notepad should show up. You shouldn't have to go looking for it. We're going to open up this notepad here. Um. <clears throat> Or this XML, I should say. And I'm going to highlight. I'm going to start at the bottom of this racers bracket right here. Right. I'm going to slide in there. And I'm going to just select everything. Right. I mean, it's a lot in here, guys. At this point, you know what? Let's just go back to the top. Oh, wait. I think I can hold shift and hit end the end key. So holding shift on my keyboard and going to hit the end key. And did nothing. Oh, so what I did was I held shift control and then hit end. I don't know if that makes a difference holding shift, but I hit shift control and then end. And now we have highlighted everything below the cursor up here. So the opening tag here says racers and all that information is squeezed between the closing tag, which is forward slash racers. So let's just hit delete. Bam. That's it. Everything's gone to make sure we don't need anything or right, everything's gone. And then I'm literally going to just copy this up here where it says racers. I mean, if you're lazy or you could just type it right. And then we're going to hit forward slash racers. Bam. That's it. That's all we had to do. And if we ever want to go back and, you know, put the actual race cars 
back in here you just go to the racers original file control a control c copy all of it go back to your racers and then you know boom control v paste it in as if you want to and we don't want to so what we're going to do now is make sure we hit saved on that racers xml it's now a completely empty list but if we were to go back into the game i think the game doesn't realize there's no uh thanks dude the game doesn't know there isn't any um actual you know why i think my game's lagging i got this bus i got this bus simulator mod i also got a shoot ton of traffic but i got this bus simulator mod uh where not only can you be a bus driver you can ride the bus and these buses even with chaos mod if all the vehicles are turned off the buses will still be driving so i think the buses are constantly alive throughout the entire city every bus route anyways that's neither here nor there let's go ahead and take a look at some race locations on the map all right so we got a couple different races um where are we oh that's a dealer this is a classic one up here at the um we'll just go up here to sandy shores how about that uh let's see are we near one yeah we got some near the airport uh those are cool whatever uh, I like the Sandy Shores location the most. So <clears throat> we're going to go up there. I'm not even going to waste my time driving up there, guys. Let's be real. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Think we got time for that? We don't. Especially when my frame rate is not the healthiest. Okay, so here we are. Oh, let me uh, give a shout out to some chat, folks. We got OG Cologne in the building. OG Cologne says, I appreciate you taking your time out and showing us new people how to mod correctly. Hey, look, I've been there, bro. I have been there. And uh, it's all trial and error. You know, I'd say modding GTA 5 is a lot easier than going back and relearning how to mod for San Andreas. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it should be easier, but it's weird. It, it's not for me anyways. Grr. Um, I also do have a handling mod that I'm playing with, so you might see cars react differently than uh, on your game. <clears throat> I'm using the um, Simcade, S-I-M-C-A-D, uh, Simcade mod. You can find it on 5mods.com. I mean, shoot, let's just take a second while you guys are all here. If you're watching this video and you're all about cars and, and racing in GTA and you kind of want to have that realism slash arcadey kind of feel, you can always check out Simcade. I am going to have a tutorial on how to install this Devil May Cry Trevor replacement. Awesome. Awesome. Way better than... I, it, it's cool. All the clothes for Trevor work. We'll get into that later. We're also going to have a video for Liquidator Random Assassination Mission Generator. So go ahead and download that. You don't need my help. Anyways, we're going to be looking for the uh, Simcade. I think it's like that. Simcade? Yeah. Simcade. Actually with an E on it. Don't listen to me. I'm using this for my handling mod. This is going to completely change, I think, how every car handles in the game. And it has been updated to work with all the tuners updates. So it says uh, it provides handling, race driver, grid, other types of sim, sim arcade racers like Forza, blah, 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 blah. There's so much in this mod. So I've got every single car has its own handling. It's a little more realistic, a little more arcadey. I don't know how that works. But if you see cars doing weird stuff, that's why. So here we are at the drag, and uh, since I haven't told the game to look for the updated XML, um, I think it doesn't need it. So let's test it out. We've changed the racers.xml. It has absolutely no information in it. Let's hit right to spawn this drag meet here real quick. Skirt, skirt. All right. We've spawned the meat. Boom, you see those uh, errors there on the left side? It says, no vehicles found in racers.xml. Great. Um, that works. Uh, so now what we're going to do is create a bunch of race cars that we are going to place in the racers XML. So there's a, a, a couple of steps that come with this. Uh, if we go back and look at our actual, uh, what is it, the readme file, I believe. So I'm going to alt tab. Go back to my GTA 5, uh, or go back to the uh, download file for the drag meet. And if I go into the readme, is there a readme? There's no readme. Uh, 
configuration. Let's try that out because I, I I know how I know what the command is, but I want to see if it, uh, it tells us inside the documentation here. So there's a way that we can save cars to the racers.xml file. <clears throat> Let me just search it. Here we go. All right, so I just searched the word save. <clears throat> it says, remember that you can save your car manually by entering save car or save car details in the cheat prompt anytime. It has the same effect. So if we want to save a car that we are driving to the racer's database, um, we would simply just either save car or save car details. Now, when you hit save car, it literally just saves the car, you know, and I think it randomly generates racers off that i'm not sure but <clears throat> um if you hit save car details it saves everything about the car the wheels the driver you have options that you can change so let's go ahead and just let's start saving some cars all right let's not waste any time we'll just start saving some cars oh hey let's take a look at the chat real quick we got cactus up in here what's going on cactus he says yo my frame has been dying today as well yeah this new los santos update I did read somewhere that um, it's been causing people frame drops a lot lately, uh, just frame lag in general, even offline. Uh, let's see. Um, Denture's got to reinstall GTA. And we got Jay Mello. He says, can the Peds drive add-on cars in the drag races or do I need to replace the vanilla car? No. So that's the cool thing is you can literally customize everything about the people in these races from what kind of paint job, the livery, what kind of upgrades they have, what kind of tires they have, who's even driving it. So we can change all that stuff. And we're going to start with the car that we're in right now. I'm going to hit the, uh, you know, the cheat key. It's that key above the tab key on your keyboard, uh, right below the escape button. It's that weird. It looks like an eyebrow and half an eyebrow and half a mustache next to your one key, right? I'm going to hit that. And then I'm going to type in save car right did anything happen do i need to type oh do i need to type a thing oh save car all right nothing has happened let's see uh save car details street dealing wait what oh hold on <laughs> i think i just had a mistake uh, let's go back to that configuration file it says remember that you can save the car save car or save car details in the cheap prompt anytime <clears throat> oh cool also looking into the configuration file here it says uh if you guys got to go through this on your own time also but we can change these values it says enable this to have the script automatically introduce new generic racers based on the cars you use in a meet hell yeah this will allow you to add add to add add-on vehicles for the script to use as racers. So by default, guys, uh, if as long as this feature is turned on, it says enable this to have the script automatically introduce new yet generic racers based on the cars you use. So the cars that we drive, the script will generate racers generically for that so also it says remember that you can save the car manually by entering save car or save car details now i don't know why that didn't just happen but maybe what we need to do is relaunch uh, the script yeah ls life is trying to get me to go on that paper chase so real quick i'm just going to hit f4 hit oh see yeah okay those are errors from earlier now i'm just going to type in capital r and then E L O A D open and then close parentheses hit enter. That's going to reload our scripts real quick. Um, we're going to try to do the save car detail and then we're going to hop in a different car, save that, and then we'll go on so on and so forth. So, uh, there we go. Enter, wait, what? Enter, met, enter message, huh? What are you about? I don't know. Oh, cool. It worked. So for whatever reason, it lagged. Now we're entering the information for save car details. Now it says enter max. Uh, what car type is this? It's not average. It's uh, definitely what sport, I guess you could say. Um, it's in the sports uh, class. Let's go ahead and call it sport. 
Um, this is opponent set the racer's shifting ability. So if you look on the left side of the screen here, where it says opponent creator, it says set the racer's shifting ability from zero to 100. So uh, let's just put it on 50. It says now set the racer's reaction time from zero to two a thousand. Let's just put it on a thousand. They're just AI machines. All right. It says scripts, drag meets, racers, racers.xml has been saved. So the only way to get it to work is by reloading the script. You guys just saw that. I hit F4. If this other menu pops up, just hit backspace until all the menus disappear. The console command line will stay up. Just hit reload like that. Ba -da -ba -ba. Hit enter. And uh, there you go. So just do that before you try to save any card details. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at that XML file now that we've just added this card and its details to the meat. Let's go ahead. I'm going to Alt-Tab. Now we're going to take a look at the racers.xml file inside our drag meets folder. Skip. Go to our racers folder. And then we're going to locate racers. Skip, skip. Boom. There you go. This was empty a little bit ago. You guys remember seeing uh, absolutely nothing in here. Now this is what the information for one race car, one driver looks like. That's it. Okay. There you go. That's just for one car. Now this is every possible customizable thing for this particular car. Not every car inside of GTA 5 has the ability to have this many uh, mod slots because with these latest tuners uh, with Benny's original motor works, we can change the dash, the trim, the seat color, uh, the dashboard itself with the knobs and all kinds of stupid stuff, even down to the LCD colors inside of the digital dash. Um, so not every car does have these options, but we're going to make some more cars. We're going to play around with some more options. This is where it's going to get fun. You dig? Oh, hey, cool. The little chat box is working. Dope. I, uh, I just set up this new widget with uh, the Streamlabs. And uh, I was like, man, I wonder if uh, I wonder if it's going to work on the stream. And hey, what do you know? It's working. Let's read some uh, comments real quick. Uh, it says Cactus is the new update for drag. I've never seen that. No, this is using the drag meets mod over on GTA 5 mods dot com. The, the link for this mod is down in the description. And if you run the stream back a little earlier, I show you how to install it. Now we're customizing it to have DLC tuner racers. Oh, look, dude, we do have a dealer from LS Life up here, and he is trapping out the bando. So uh, let's keep that in mind. Some shots might ring off by accident. Um, is, uh, is there a fix for the new Los Santos update? I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Um, I seem to lose the stuttering and lag and, and frame drop when I'm not around a bunch of cars so I guess that's good I do have a configuration file that has a lot of traffic though so here we go we got our first vehicle down now we're gonna try a new one man I like this car I don't want it to disappear I'm just gonna hit all right there we go the Cypher's our new stash car for LS Life. <laughs> I, just, I didn't want it to go away. You feel me? I, I didn't want it to leave me. All right. So now I'm going to hop inside of a new whip. I got the add-on spawner mod. Vehicle add-on spawner. Great mod. I guess I should have included that in the links down in the description. But I have I have videos on that. So you guys need to check that video out. Um. Yes. Anyway, so I'm going to load it in. Oh, yeah. If you check out literally my two videos ago, I showed you how to customize every LS tuners vehicle. Check that video out, guys. I, I even have this mod in the uh, installation tutorial at the end. But go ahead and uh, I'm going to launch my add on vehicle spawner. Then I'm going to go to spawn official DLCs. Uh, you'll start at the top of the menu, then just hit up. On your keyboard or gamepad, take you to the bottom to the Los Santos Tuners tab. And here we have every single category of every single car. And we're in offline mode. So I'm going to head. I'm going to head. I'm going to go ahead and hit coops. Boom. 
Previon. I don't even think the Previon is out yet. Now, doesn't this look like a prelude? Yeah, that thing looked like a prelude, man. And uh, we could simply just hit, uh, what, save car, right? Get the cheat prompt up. Come on. And just hit save car. All right. Uh, it says generic saved to racers. And then, oh, look, there's somebody trapping right over there. That boy just did the deal. He out here making money. He out here making money in our territorials. All right, this isn't what it's about. All right, this video is not about Ellis Life, but, you know, things can happen. Things can happen. All right, we're going to get some sunlight back up in here. And then I'm just going to lock it. Boom. 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 Pause the game clock. All right. Okay. Cool. So now we have the Previon. Uh... Using uh, menu, just hit F8, and then we're gonna, we're gonna go to vehicles, menu customs, and then just hit up or go to the very bottom of the menu list and just hit auto upgrade. We got the upgrade and say I, I want to change the livery. I don't like it. I'm gonna go to the very top of the menu list and go to Benny's Original Motor Works right there, and uh, I'm gonna change up that livery. So we have so many to choose from. That's why there's so many mod indexes for these cars. Hey, that's pretty cool. I like this one a lot, but I'm not digging that boldy color. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna back out of all that. I'm gonna go down to paints inside of my menu customs here. Where it at? And I'm gonna change up that primary. We're gonna go to metallic. Let's start from the bottom. Made it from the bottom now, yeah. Yeah, came up from the bottom. Who we got in the chat? We got seven folks in the chat, that's dope. Man, we're climbing close to 2,000 subscribers. It's amazing. Uh, if only we, if we could only get one viewer per, like one subscriber per viewer, that would be awesome. That would be so cool, dude, to get one subscriber per viewer. Cause the GTA 5 modding essentials. Oh, look at them cambered wheels. I didn't even have to use V Stancer. That thing cammed out. Man, if you could, oh, 30,000 subscribers off one video, how epic would that be, huh? How epic would that be? You tell me. Yee, yee, yee. All right, let's change up those wheels, too. We're going to switch up them wheels. I don't like them. Uh, to switch up the wheels, here's what I typically do. Because I know some people ask me, how do you get the tuner's wheels? Uh, so inside of this here, menu, customs, I'm going to click on wheels. And then I think if I go down to Benny's Originals, eh, front and rear. I think uh, I think we can no I, I think I'm actually completely wrong I, I because I am I'm wrong uh, we're gonna go back out and we'll go to tuner stock uh, I might still be wrong yeah I'm still wrong I think because I know how to get like the Fukuru tires so let's go back back street we'll go to street tires okay stock and then there's over 105 of these and they all come in different colors and styles and designs. So let's just go ahead and play around with these real quick. Some yellow on yellow. We can get some blue in there on the, on the atomic text. We can change that up. Oh, those are clean. That's clean, mate. Hey, bro, that's clean. Is that how they say it in the UK? Isn't it? Hey, bro. That's clean. All right, whatever. We got some wheels. Just make sure we get the ones we like, you know. Like, hey, bro. Yo, bro, mine. It's clean, isn't it? You know how British people say, isn't it? Hey, yo, it's clean, isn't it? All right, that's clean, isn't it? Cool. Now we're going to save this car as well. We have a generic version. Now I'm going to hit this. Cheat prompt. Anytime the cheat prompt is going to pop up, got to. There we go. I'm going to say save car details. Bruh. All right. It says set racer's name. Oh, display name. Oh, this is their display name. I'm silly. All right. Uh, we're going to call this dude sushi or or chick. Sport. Uh, we'll, we'll do 60. Their shifting ability. 
uh, the racers' reaction time. You know, they've been doing this for a minute. Five hundred. You feel me? All right, they're saved. Gonna hit F five. Spawn DLC. Los Santos tuners. Oh damn, that was a coop. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> who cares, man? Uh, let's see. Ooh, the Dominator GTT. You know, we can do the same thing. All right, we're gonna go to hit. Oh, dang, got that jump. Save car. Um, <laughs> then we'll go to menu. You don't have to do it this way, but uh, you can if you want to. And then we're gonna go to teleport. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We're gonna to, to vehicle options menu. Hit up. Go to auto upgrade. And then you can, uh, if you want, go to the top of the menu. Go to Benny's. You can change the livery to whatever it is your little heart desires. There's so much to go through here. And then we can even, you know, you can change everything on this car. Like, everything is customizable on this car. It's ridiculous. There's so much stuff with this tuners update. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to hit the cheat button again and type in save car details. Uh... Donnie, their name's Donnie. Uh, muscle. Now, if you want to make life easier and you just want to like race the DLC cars, you can literally save them all as like sport, 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 sport. Because each each track actually is different. So this track right here, I think it it welcomes all racers. So if we look at the drag me XML files for all locations, not every single location has the same car show up so not every single location has sport muscle uh average all in the same spot okay so just we're gonna look into the different racetracks also so we're gonna head and adjust their shifting speed or whatever the hell this is all right they're not that good make it 20. <laughs> uh, we'll leave this at 250 and there we go uh, we can literally do that for every single car if we wanted to and i think we're going to real quick i'm going to just do everything generic real fast all right hop in my dlc list los santos tuners uh muscle all right and then i'm just going to type in save car generically saved f5 boom same process over move down to sedans tailgater um close the menu uh hit the cheat code save car all right um let's see what else can we do here we're going to uh move on to the next bop 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 right save car now we can do that till uh our face turns blue so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to reload in my own uh race file that i made and then i'm going to add these cars into it as well so now i'm going to alt tab and go to my saved racers the racers that i went ahead and made ahead of time i haven't last edited this since last month today so guys i made this video originally a month ago today i just never edited it down um but now we're doing a live stream we're going to learn about it here live on the stream uh let's hit the chat real quick it says uh, we got ttg clips in the building hello sir isn't it uh, he says, yo, I love your videos, man. I thank you for uh, showing up to the channel. We got Cactus saying, PFG damn near did that. He blew up. I was there when he had 4K. I came back a week later. It seemed like he had like 70K. It says that Dominator is clean ASF. <clears throat> and then we got Blakanaka. Also, the force feed uh, back and shifter mods work really nicely, too. Okay. Uh, they didn't really try to make the ASP any different from the Cobra. No, they didn't. And a lot of these cars, it, they didn't try to make... The only ones that kind of look unique and different are the... Uh, crap. I don't know. I think the Calico. The Calico actually looks like an Integra and a Supra. Let's take a quick look at that real fast. I don't know why we came back into the game. We got to go back to the files here. But... uh Let's see, spawn DLC, blah, 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 blah. Um, sports. Take a look at the Calico. See, that looks like an old school Supra in the back and an Integra in the front. Isn't that, isn't that cool? That's pretty cool, lads. Pretty cool, lads. Okay. 
all right alt tab back to the desktop we got to go ahead and edit the uh so this is my erasers file that i made a month ago right and this is the new racers file that we've just created and we've added several different racers to okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh select everything from uh everything between the racers this is in our new file that we just made i'm going to take all the drivers that we just created cut them out so this file looks like this now right i'm going to cut them out hop over to the file that i made i've got way too many of these open hold on i gotta close these out see in editing uh, this would all be edited out in post you feel me uh-huh okay here we go here's my document that i made uh with my other racers i'm just gonna hit enter i'm gonna paste all right so now i've saved all those new cars into my old racers file I'm going to hit control a to copy all of this so these are all custom racers that i made last month we're going to hop into our active racers.xml file delete all that paste in boom just to give you guys an idea of all the different cars from the ls tuners update in one race so now we're going to take a look at the race the races themselves the meets themselves so i'm going to back up one we're going to leave the racers folder we're going to go into the meets folder now i think where we are is the sandy shores airstrip or let's see oh yeah you can see i have my own tuners dlc uh, race there where are we where is this damn race ls airport parking nope mount chiliad north yankton palito bay it's richmond Glen. Sandy Shores dirt road race. It is definitely not that. Where the hell are we? Sandy Shores Airfield. Duh. All right. Click on Sandy Shores Airfield. Let's take a look through this. I don't know what the triggers are necessarily. Um, damn. You know, guys, I had an entire video that also showed you guys how to make your own custom drag meets because that's what these files down here are. I guess, you know what? I'll end this stream. We'll start another live stream. And I'll show you guys how to create a custom drag strip um, if I have the time. I don't know if I'll have the time to do it right now, but maybe later this evening I'll show you guys how to do that. But it's really easy. Um, anyway, so looking through this drag meets file here, we could even do it right now. Okay. Uh, I keep the music off in my game so I don't listen to the radio. Um, bets uh, 200. I think that's like the minimum you can bet in the race or that's how much it costs to get in the race. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. My brain's fuzzy. Distance limit. That's the distance of the track. Now, here's where it is. Uh, cars that are allowed to race. So um, I think some of the cars that we have are sport and muscle. I don't know. I'm just going to copy this and hit enter. Tab over paste and i'm going to type in sport here and then i'm going to do the same thing for muscle right add muscle in here all right hit save now i'm going to take a look at um what am i looking at am i racers xml file and we're going to see what kind of uh cars we have in here so let's see this guy here where is the car type all right kind sport so this one's a sport car so i'm just going to look through here and see every kind of car that we have so we have sport another sport looking down here at the bottom of the text file we have a sport there uh, an average Sport, average, 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 lots of averages. Those are the generic cars. Sport, most of average, yeah. Okay, you get the idea. You get the idea, right? Everything you can think of is in there. Okay, let's go ahead and minimize that. Looking at the Sandy Shores Airfield XML, um, we've got the kinds of cars we want to race in this race. So we have our max car limit. How many cars can show up to participate? Yeah, we got that at 30. 
This is the path to the waiting area. So this is a line that the cars are going to follow to get to the designated waiting area. And the designated waiting area also has its own defined radius. So there's two paths to get back to the waiting area. Um, I believe this is after the race is over. Okay, so once the race is over, they have to follow this node and then go to that node to get their way back to the waiting area. The starting line is going to be these XYZ coordinates. Uh, the position of the prop, so this is that that uh, cool banner prop that's over the airfield. Uh, we have the finish line location, the waiting zone location, and the, uh, the radius. We have the heading. That's the direction the race is going to go. We also have the area where the crowds can kick it. Oh, you know, we're going to get into this later. We're going to do a whole another video on the drag strips itself we just needed to add the kinds of cars we want to race in this race nothing more that's a whole other video a whole different topic stick around subscribe hit that bell for notifications when all the stream starts and all the screaming starts you know what i'm talking about when the beam starts all right now that we have that done we're gonna hop back into the game i'm gonna reload actually what we're gonna do is go to the cheat menu here and type uh end and meat all right the meat uh wait hold on gotta get back to our whip uh we're gonna go oh, how is it all right we're gonna go to the gta 5 mods details page that's gonna tell us how to end the track meet so if i go to the drag meets up here Let's see, it says leaving meats. It says leave meat. That's all we have to type in the little cheat window there is leave meat. Let's leave the meat. Say it with me. Leave the meat. Leave the meat. All right. Leave meat. What? If y'all don't stop playing with me, G. Okay, unexpected results there. I'm just trying to show out and show off. Slidey McSlidertons. Alright, we're going to reload this joint. Oh, what? What did I just do? Oh, no. I just did something. What did I just do? Huh? Oh, I've joined the meet. Cool. Cool. <laughs> so, I guess I didn't need to restart. Here we go. Should see some familiar faces. Ah, oh, look, see. So the game itself added that livery to that dude's car. You zim it. Oh my gosh, the lag is real right now. Whoa. Well, that's laggy. <sighs> Whoa, that is unbearably laggy. What's going on here? There's a lot of people here. Anyways, you'll start to see some cars pouring in. I think another one's about to drive in. Yeah, here they come. Dope. These are all DLC cars. Yo, we should add a cop car. Heck yeah, we should add a cop car. Woo! Look at all them rices back yonder. Dang, popping up the hood, showing up, showing out, showing off. Look, homie over here just trying to trap. Looking dusty as hell. What are you wearing, sir? Penny loafers and some jogging pants and a crew neck and a dirty, dusty hat. You cool? Are you cool? Bye -bye. Oh, no. We left those uh, cars in the middle of the track. We got to get rid of them. All right. So. Mm, All right, yeah, the lag is is heavy right now. All right, that car is still there. There we go. <laughs> I 
wonder if I change my resolution if it's gonna help. Let's go to settings real quick. This what graphics. Let's knock it down to uh, this right here, sixteen hundred by oh, by nine hundred. Set up the chat. Let's read some comments down here. It says, "Leave me, leave the meat." Brilliant hobos could be too many. They say it's cause slow down. Oh wait, I really already know how to mod, but love coming to your channel. Love your humor and the mod recommendations, like in your MP vid. I didn't know about the items for multiplayer, but love them. Awesome. Glad I helped you out. Cactus also says I have over like 200 scripts and didn't lag, but after this update, it's pretty extremely unbearable. I agree. I don't know what's what's up with it. All right, so I did change my resolution. I don't know if that helped at all. Yeah, I don't think that did help at all. I don't even think it helped at all. Oh, wait, let's, uh, oh, shoot, I don't have a weapon. I got to get a weapon, then we can uh, view the race. Oh, shit. Let's just try to get up close enough. Oh, they're going to hit that car. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> oh, that's that LS Life my boy. Because she was, because she shot her flare off. He took it as like, you know, an attack. <laughs> wow. Yo, she active. Oh man! Look, there's there's people here with 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 blickies. I think they hit him. Look, this dude's got his shotgun. He's ready. They're like tasing his ass. <laughs> Yo, they handled the situation. I don't think he's even dead. Oh, he's dead now. He. Oh gosh. Wow, do not play in Sandy Shores, y'all. Okay. All right, they've handled the situation. Guys, come back to the show, please. All right, we do have a new... Um... <laughs> Yo, these people out here were ready for that action. Oh, wait, did he drop his iron? Yes, he did. Now, this is what we need to view the race. Um, let's see. She passed away, so... Uh... Maybe these guys need some help resetting. There we go. Oops. There you go, bud. Figure it out, guys. Okay. There, we helped them out. We lost our glasses, though. What? All right, we just got to point our gun in this direction. You know what? All right, we've left the meat. Did we leave the meat? How do you despawn the meat? I think it's despawn the meat. There, everyone's gone. The lag has actually gone away. Uh, some of it anyways. Ugh. Yeah, I guess you just got to not be that close to the meat whenever you type into the uh, the cheat box here. So let's spawn the meat again. Um, what blood mod do I use? <sighs> I think I mentioned it in my... Oh, hell no. She just took the whip. She is imp impervious to damage. All right, well, they got a souped up whip. Let's see what happens. Um, yeah, if you check out my uh, my weapons and combat video, it will show you. Uh, I think I linked it in the description. If not, I'll show you guys here in a sec. Is this, is this going to start anytime soon? Worry, buddy. That lady just took my car. Let's see. 
despawn the meat again. Oh, we got the whip back. Cool. <laughs> All right, this car needs to go. Oh, we could put this car over here. Somebody will drive it. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's spawn the meat again. All right, cool. See, that car just turned into a completely different calico. All right, I think we're going to have a race at some point. So I guess we just, we got to wait for all these other cars to show up. Um, how the hell do I join the meet? Oops. Please enter a vehicle. Oh yeah, we got to enter a vehicle. How long have we been in the, how long has this stream been going, dude? An hour? Shouldn't have taken this long. But hey, sometimes recording these videos, man, it take, it take, it, you know, it takes some time. You, know, you just got to edit everything out. Anyways, this race is going to hopefully start at some point. When one of these uh, cars figures out their starting position. Like, what's going on, man? Guys, let's go. I don't know what the problem is, man. Alright. Well, you see they're both DLC DLC cars. Uh, I'm trying to get in to race my damn self. So let's get ourselves a car here. All right, um, all right, let's join the meet. We've joined the meet. All right, these fools are finally about to race. There we go. We just have to aim our projectile, our weapon at the uh, starting girl here, and then we can view the race cinematic style. Oof, Calico got smoked. It was a generic Calico. I don't think it had any mods on it, but that Cypher smoked it. All right, there you go. That's how a race looks. Now, I don't know why all these other cars haven't shown up yet. But you know there's a bunch of cars. We got a bunch of cars added to the racers list, so. Woo, butter. Buttery. That was butterific. All right, so let one of these cars come back real quick, and then we can challenge the, uh, can challenge them to a race. Where the hell are they? Oh damn, are these boys going home? You know what? Real quick, let's go ahead. We'll just type in. Let's type in, uh, what? Leave me. And then we will... Oh, let's get out of here first. Before we type that in. Just get out of the range. Now let's type in. Because anything that has the E in it is going to it's gonna um, initiate something. So let's go ahead and cheat menu again. Despawn me. Okay. It has been despawned. Let's like leave the area and then we'll come back and then we'll we'll uh, load in the uh, race again. Oh, we can always check out a different race. Ooh, you know I ain't no race car driver. So there is a race down here actually. You can check that out. Get some volume up on the wheels there. Looks like we might be getting a ticket. <laughs> You're gonna have to make this more interesting, officer. He'll 
figure it out. Let's see if he'll crash into this gas pump here. Cool, while we wait for this cop to do his job, we're gonna go ahead and fix our vehicle up and then uh, bang it out. It's like a lowrider, Holmes. Man, this cop is slow. <laughs> oh, no. All right, you know we, we don't have we don't have time for this. Let's, let's let's cheat. There we go. It never happened. Let's go ahead and check out this race. Oh, we get it. Watch. It's gonna give us a ticket. You didn't have control of your vehicle there, sir. Okay, maybe not. So yeah, that handling mod, Simcade. Oh, shh. Okay, he is going to give us a ticket. <laughs> officer all right let's get this meat spawned first then we'll deal with this copper oh somebody getting high all right we've spawned this other meat let's see what cars show up here I gotta repair the whip mr. officer don't seem too happy What's up, bruh? Oh, is he about to race? Oh, see, it says this is a street drag meet, so we can't even race our car here. We can't race any cars here, actually, because we don't have a street car. Oh, wait, no. Street race means it's literally a race in the street. I don't know why the vehicles aren't spawning, though. That's uh, We got one car. The hippie in the van is going to race. Is the I wonder if the cop is gonna race. I think these are two mods, right? Oh no, he's giving us a ticket. Look, there's a race car. Okay, the racers are starting to show up now. Hi. Hey, what's up, bud? Kiflom. Kiflom, buddy. You learned a lesson. Bye. Yep. Okay, it's going down over there. The cars are starting to pile up, park up. There you go. We got some DLC cars ready to race, brother. And not too. I don't think that many cars are going to show up to this one. So, not as much frame lag. Oh yeah, we can join. All right, we have joined the race. Now, since we're playing as a an MP character, uh, we're not going to be able to make money or bet money. So what I'm going to do is I got character swap. Let me launch that real quick. Go to preset. Oh, you better not hit me, boy. Whoa, what kind of paint job is that? That's cool, man. I like that. That broken, nasty look. That's type. All right, we're going to call ourselves uh, Trevor. So we, we've called ourselves Trevor. And now we're going to go to a menu, player options, model changer. Let's see. I think I got Trevor here. Bam. <laughs> All right, cool. We're in our Trevor look here. 
Uh, what you guys don't know is I'm actually playing as Dante. I've changed... I've changed the entire Trevor body. Wait, what? Oh, I, I must have a... Oh, jeez. I must have something else on it in my accessories. Wait. Why he got this ugly uh, mask on that we can't take off? Anyways, I've gone ahead and uh, saved an outfit. So let's do that anyways. Anyways, guys. You <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. We'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. Shoot, let me get my let me change my outfit. It doesn't matter. Okay, now we're Trevor. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is go back to our multiplayer character. Okay, we're Trevor now. We're gonna switch over to our model changer, Mimi IG. Boom. Now we should be able to make and spend money. Should be. So we're gonna try and bet. Let's see. We're gonna um we're actually gonna race. Try to race this guy. So if I walk up here and I uh, think if I hit E. I can challenge them to a race? I don't know. Damn it, I thought that's how it worked. I mean, we're in the, we're, we've joined the meet. We up in here. I just don't know how to, um, how the hell do we uh, race these fools? Jesus. Christ almighty. I don't know, there's a way. We can also bet Okay, uh, press E to join. So we didn't join. Okay, cool. Now we've joined. Finally, we've joined the race. Uh, we can place bets. I think if we just type, uh, if we go to our little cheat box here, type in the word bet. Gang and turf mod. Oh, shit. I forgot I installed that. <laughs> uh, enter name of car. Oh, shoot. I, okay, so I don't know what car is racing right now. But let's go ahead and uh, challenge somebody to a race. All right, we're going to challenge this guy to a race. All right, press E to challenge after you've joined the race. Oh, they don't feel confident. All right, what about uh, what about this super slammed? Oh, yeah, we're going to get beat by the Sultan. Definitely going to get beat by the Sultan. I have challenged the Sultan RS Classic. Okay, so they think it's going to be a close race. Uh, we're going to have the next race. Let's try and place our bets. Oh, wait, we can't because we're the next race. I think we can still bet on ourselves, though. Boom. Oh, yeah, we're next. It's your turn. Go to your starting position. Ah, oh, this idiot can't drive. Okay, they can drive. They're figuring it out. I don't know how this car can drive with it slammed. Look how low that is to the ground. Bruh. You're doing too much, boy. You're doing too much. All right. You know what we're going to do is we're going to bet on this guy to win. So I'm, uh, you don't have money to bet. Yeah, like, hell, I don't. Oh, I sure don't. Let's change that. We're going to go to player options, basic stats, Trevor. Uh, let's go ahead and just throw some O's behind that. All right. Uh, we don't want to refuse the race, but we do want to bet on the race. How do you? Uh, okay, we are racing the, are betting on the Sultan RS Classic. So I'm gonna go back over here, type up a little cheat box, say bet. Um, how much do we want to bet? Oh uh, wait, oh shit, Sultan. Damn it, what's that car's? <laughs> Hold on, what's the car's name? All right, this is the Sultan RS Classic. Okay, type in bet. We're gonna type in Sultan RS Classic. Wait, what? Okay, we're gonna bet 500. Sultan RS Classic thinks you're a pussy and won't accept a bet lower than four thousand dollars. Okay, all right, little punk ass. All right, bet, bet that. All right, we're gonna get bet going here. I'm gonna type in six thousand dollars. You broke, bitch. Who the fuck is this? Okay, the Sultan RS has accepted the bet for $6,000, you guys. We'll smoke them. Let's read some comments on the way back to our car. Cactus deleted some messages. 
All right, Anas says, hey man, remember me? Yes, I do. I read your comment either this morning or yesterday. Los the Gamer, definitely great, helpful video. Thanks, Los. Thanks for checking it out. Hey guys, check out Los the Gamer's channel as well. There's lots of GTA videos, gameplays. Oofman says, my clothing mods aren't working. Is there any way I can fix it? I have Open 4 installed an easy mod single player. Well, you got to make sure that you are calling out the EMFSP DLC folder inside of the DLC list. Go ahead and check that video out. All right, so we, we placed money. We got money on the line right now. And uh, I'm, we're not going to lose this. So uh, I'm going to cheat just a little bit on this car here. Uh, I'm going to give this car mad boost. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it mad boost. Let's see, uh, damage defense, uh, vehicle. Okay, menu. Yep. Uh huh. Let's see, horsepower multiplier. You know what? We're gonna give it too much. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna give it so much torque, so much power. Okay. Two hundred on the dash. Oh wait. Okay, that might be too much. I don't know what it was originally. Uh, let's see. Top speed. Man, this thing right here go about 200. <laughs> All right. We've, uh, we've cheated, I think. Let's warm up those tires. Now, I only like to play the drag meets with the keyboard. Wait a second. All right. Here we go. We go, guys. They're placing their bets. Bet time is over. Oh shoot! I messed up already. I messed up already. <laughs> Smoked them by a whole second, damn near almost. Hey, we just won six thousand dollars. I hope this video helps you guys out. We got nine folks in here. What should we do? Should we play some LS Life and a little bit of oh, some assassination missions? Uh, I do have an assassination video coming up to show you guys. But I've also been on here for quite some time. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Get a hang of your... Oh, oh. oh my gosh. The chaos. This car has too much power. And blood. <laughs> Alright, let's read the chat, guys. We got nine folks in here. I hope this helps everyone out. If you were following along, did it work for you? Pretty simple. We covered, in this video, we covered downloading the mod. We also covered installing the mod, looking at the configuration, deleting all of the racers, adding new racers, uh, some customized cars, things like that. Um, we can even actually, you know what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing is uh, if you save a car detail, like when I was in this car and I saved its details, see how we have the same pad right here. So if we go and look at the XML real quick. And we look at the driver for that car. It's going to give us a hash. All right. So if I go to my racers here, where is it? This one here. We go to uh, what driver name. So in the driver name here, we're going to look for Mimi. Somewhere. <laughs> Boy. Why are you playing? Good. Why are you playing? Let's see. Let's type in Cypher. Driver name. Driver name. Where's our driver's name? Hold on. All right. It should start with the word driver. Here we go. Cipher. Oh, nothing. Uh, ped model. There we go. Ped model. So that's the hash for Mimi, for our ped model. So if I go in the game and if I use Spooner, right? If I hit F9, because I have menu installed, if I hit F9, and I right click on this ped, 
Oh crap, that's right, we're Trevor. <laughs> oh crap. Whatever, dude. Look at this guy. Right? Uh, Fib Mugger. He has his own hash, right? Uh, made up of a bunch of numbers and stuff, whatever. So basically, this number that we're looking at for the driver ped model, uh, that's Mimi's, right? So let's just say, I think uh, I think we can just put random there. Wait, does random work? Yeah, so if I want to change the ped to be something completely random, I would just go back up to the driver, uh, the ped model here. We just change that hash like this. Boom. Um, I mean, you can... You literally would just type in random like that, okay? Or you can go find another pet hash name and put it in there. So I think we could even put, um, yeah, we could put Franklin, we could put Trevor, Michael, whoever you want, you can put in there. I think, I think we're at a good spot for the video. Let me read some comments, some suggestions, see what you guys think. Uh, it says, can you show us how to get the mod now? Uh, Anas, if you go back to the very beginning of the, the stream, I show you how to download and install it. Um, my bad. Did you answer the blood? I I, I did answer the blood question. The blood is uh, in my weapons and combat video. Uh, so yeah, check that out. It's in my weapons and combat video. I actually, you know what? Hey, we're all here. You guys are all here watching. Let's go ahead. We're going to hop in to gta5mods.com. I think if I just put, uh, I think if I type BLLOD, I think, I think I use this one right here. Improvements in G-O-R-E. I think this is the one I used. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I used improvements in Gore. And if we open it up. I believe it is an OIV install and then it has an experimental install. <clears throat> Sheesh. Uh, it has an experimental install to have blood pouring out of the wound. I hope this uh, chat, I hope this language doesn't get me demonetized. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> All right. It's taking its sweet time. I don't know what's going on taking it sweet time i promise i do i don't have the fastest uh internet either so if you guys want to go ahead and uh you know super chat that that'd be cool all right here's beta features so these uh yeah i'm using improvements in gore you would just drag this out to your desktop um the improvements oiv drag the to your desktop and open for just a package installer and then this one here this is the blood spilling it's got some silly sound effects with it too so yeah, those are the blood mod. This is the blood mod that I'm using. It's improvements in gore. Go ahead and check that out. Uh, if you want to download the mod, you just hop on over to GTA 5 mods and what type in drag. And then you're going to click on the drag meets drag monsters update. Download it. Copy all the files into your scripts directory for GTA 5, wherever you have it installed. I'm also using the Simcade Handling Revo supports Los Santos Tuners DLC update. It's going to change the handling on every single vehicle in the game, I believe. Pretty cool. Uh, the stuff it can do for motorcycles is awesome. I love the handling that motorcycles have with this mod. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all we got for the uh, tuners here. How to make your own custom uh, race cars using the DLC tuners update. If you guys got anything out of this, go ahead and please, by all means, leave a thumbs up on the video. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And guys, stick around. Check out some new videos. We're going to be doing... Oh my goodness. We're going to be doing another live stream here soon at some point uh, because we do not have, uh, I don't have my software to edit videos at the moment. So until I get that stuff up and going, we're going to just do some live stream tutorials. Uh, give us a chance to reach out to the community, see what you guys think, uh, get some feedback on everything. And then, uh, you know, just experience the installation process together. Uh, you know, what could take 30 minutes to record, edit, it might take an hour to live stream and enjoy getting to all the intricacies. 
and uh yeah hopefully everyone benefits from these live stream tutorials uh yeah i don't know what do you guys think do you guys have any other mod suggestions you want to see if you're watching this live stream go ahead chat let us know and if you're watching this after the stream please feel free to also let me know in the comment section what other tutorials do you guys want to see i am gonna at some point get you guys how to make a custom uh, uh race using the drag needs mod so now that we've covered how to get custom cars we can now cover how to uh get a custom race going you know what i'm saying so uh, it should be pretty interesting and um you know what else here you know what else i'm gonna make this real interesting hold on i'm gonna alt tab Let's see. Uh, uh, is there any way to change the blood splatter on that mod? No. I mean, unless you alter the files that they're altering. And I don't know what files they're altering. Here's what I'm going to do, though, guys. I'm going to take all of these custom cars that we just... Uh, I'm going to add to it. So I'm going to go back to my uh, drag meets folder. I'm going to go to races, racers. And in, like I showed you at the beginning, this is the original racers file. Okay. I am going to select all of this. Hit copy. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of these racers tags at the very top and the very bottom. And then I'm going to hit control A to select everything. Hit copy. I am not going to save it. I am not going to save. Hit no. Don't save. Then we're going to go to my new updated racers file here. Go to the very bottom and right here in front of the racers tag at the bottom. Hit enter. Boom. I've just pasted in all of the original mod content. So now we have the original games cars on top of all of these LS tuner cars that we've just added to our racers. So if we go back in here. Okay. I'm going to hop in the whip. And I'm going to type... Uh, despawn race or uh, despawn meet oh shoot uh, despawn meet all right the meat's gone so now we should have all kinds of cars showing up so we're gonna go back to the airstrip real quick actually that's what we're gonna do go back to the airstrip Duke's a hazard <laughs> Go back to the airstrip real quick and then see what kind of cars show up to that. Where the hell is the airstrip at? There we go. Hit that airstrip. All right. Teleportation. Fix up the whip. All right. Let's spawn it. And then let's join him. Cool. Ew, the lag is real. So look at all these other cars that have showed up. You know, just some basic cars. We've joined the race. Yeah, so we have all of these LS tuner cars here on top of generic, you know, in car games and whatever other races that came with the mod itself let's take a look at this race we already know who's about to lose this one here we go we already yeah we already know who's about to lose this race that dink about to get smoked oh dang whoa okay what no way the dinka the dinka smoking the previon wow dang the dinka flew off the edge of the road the dinka smoked the oh that was adam himself that boy won four thousand dollars Dang, nice racing jacket, dude. That boy got money. Ooh, insurance 
insurance liability. The bet for this race is set at seven thousand. You can change it. Uh, you can change it introducing the cheat. Oh wait, I need the race. Oh, this is me. Okay, I've been challenged. Jesus, I've been challenged to a race, guys. Yo, all these cars got your boy lagging. I'm moving at like 20 something frames, 10 frames or something. There's a lot of cars at this meet, too. It's over 30 cars can show up to this one. I mean, I've never really had these issues until the update, though. I'm going to keep it 100,000. Right, let's move those tires. Anas, go to the beginning of the video, Anas. I already explained how to install it. Hey, Denture, do you think you can um, share a timestamp with Anas when I, like, installed this, uh, when I did the installation? All right, here we go. I'm getting smoked. Oh, guess not. Oh my god. I mean, I don't know, maybe one day I'll I'll just make an easier tutorial about it. In like a really quick 10 minute video but I mean this live stream should help you guys out <clears throat> you know what there we go <laughs> alright you know what Anis, Anas I'll show you real quick. Okay, this is where I place the files. I'm in my Epic Games folder because that's where I installed it. GTA 5 went to my scripts directory and I just put all the files there. That's it. Drag meets, the fix, uh, gun running, manual shifting. Wait, I don't even know if we installed that. Uh, actually, ooh, I might be doing something redundant. Um, Yeah, and then the DLL. So all three files I just placed right here. That's it. Nothing special. Okay. Oops, wrong mod. So yeah, all I did was I just copied these three files. I just selected these files and dragged them straight to my scripts directory. That's it. And to edit the files, I went to the, the drag meets folder in the scripts directory and we edit these files here. Okay. Uh, I suggest you go to the beginning of the stream. That's where I demonstrate how to install it. And then we go from there with the customization and all the other stuff. But yeah, I think I think that is going to do it for this uh, stream, for this tutorial session. Uh, like I said, let me know whatever uh, suggestions you all might have, what you want to see next. Uh-oh, we got a race. Someone's about to fly off the map any minute. Oh, there they are. But yeah, that's going to do it for this tutorial, guys. I hope it helped you out. Like I said, go back to the beginning of the video. Let me know what kind of mods you guys are into, what kind of tutorials you want to see next. The videos that I got coming up next, guys, I'm going to show you how to fully change your entire character into Dante... From devil may cry i've got a top 10 mod list coming out my top 10 mods for the ultimate thug life experience within gta 5 and and this mod i'm gonna show you guys what i mean this mod right here oh wait oh it didn't work let's leave this real quick oops <laughs> I'm also going to do a video on uh, what the hell just happened. Let 
there. I'm also going to do a tutorial on this mod. Jeez, it's not working. Why did not work, man? Anyways, we're going to look at the Liquidator Generator Assassination mod. That mod right there will generate a random assassination file. Uh, it'll just generate random assassination missions, actually. I don't know why it's not working, but um, let's see if I go to player options here, model changer. Da, 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 story made characters. I'm going to go to Trevor. Let's change the Tyler Dixon. How about the car? Then we'll go back to Trevor. Boom. Ooh, why he don't look like Trevor? It's because he's not. It's Dante. Okay. Look at my wardrobe here. Let's change those clothes up real quick. Oh, yeah. Bucket hat. Trust me. They're so... Look at that hair. Oh, yeah. That's Devil May Cry status right there, folks. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, what? <laughs> Look at them pants. Boy. Oh, crap. The game crashed. Well, that's going to do it for this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, like I said, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Links will be down in the description of this video. I hope you found what you needed in order to get your GTA 5 modification up to specifications and code. I am your dude very high. Once the stream is done, I'm going to update the, the uh, details to have links to all the mods we talked about in this video. And uh, we'll link some other tutorials as well. I need to get a drink of water. I need to remedicate, take a shower, go for a walk, do something. But uh, maybe tonight we'll have another GTA 5 mod live tutorial session. Until then, folks, I'm your dude very high. Stay safe, stay dangerous, and don't get caught. Peace. Okay, that transition. Here we go. Peace. Los Santos, you feel me? Hold on, man. This stream ain't done. Hold on, cuz this stream ain't done, man. Yo, this stream ain't done. The stream ain't done. Nah, man. This stream ain't done. We ain't done. We don't die. We multiply. Shoot, we still got five people up in her. We still got five folks up in her. What we going to do about it? Huh, let's see. Take a look at some YouTube. Yeah. We could take a look at, look at some YouTube. Uh-oh, you've seen me analytics. You've seen me analytics. You see my little bit of money I've made. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, we're down to two, folks. Man, we out. Yeah, we're done. Uh, thanks for joining, y'all. I should have just left it how it was, man. Peace out. As my girl says, peace out, sauerkraut. You guys, I'm, yeah, we, I gotta, <clears throat> uh, we gotta go.